delicious. Delicious. I think I've forgotten nothing now. Hello everyone, welcome to the office. These are your accountant Zfinker from Zfinker and Associates. I hope you're all doing fine. Um, I'm still a little sick, but uh, <coughs> don't worry. I'll try to. Uh, I think at one point I will get better, but uh, uh, I don't know when is going to be the time at this point. But it's, I'm healing. I'm healing slowly. Hello, Hokan. Hello, Koro. Hello, Spoopy. Oh, Spoopy. Hello, Unsigzy. <laughs> I wish it was, I wish it was as simple as that, but impossibly it's not the case. So, uh, eh. You can't do much about this, unfortunately. What can you do with that? Oh. Oh. You can do anything against that. Have you tried turning all yourself off and on? I mean, it's called sleeping, and sleeping kind of helps, but not by a lot, you know. It's, it's, uh, especially when I'm sleeping well, at least. Yeah, can you believe? Your candidate is sleeping well. Well, sleeping well, well, he kind of slept very late <laughs> that night because he actually had to, you know, take care of some stuff. Um, like, uh, some, uh, something like, uh, working on the model, for example. Yeah. As you can see, uh, I feel like I'm, my face is kind of like I'm sick every day, so... I mean, it's uh, in character then, since I'm sick at the moment, but, uh, yeah. I want to rework on it to make to look, to look make myself look better, as you can imagine. You were getting something? Well, to be honest, in Veroid, you don't rig anything like that, because everything is done. The rigging is already done. But uh, by doing this, I'm just uh, working on the model, and that's it. I'm working something about it and uh, to make myself look better now. Uh, it's in progress. I think it'll be on next month, I believe. If I'm having enough time, giving myself enough time. I don't know how much, but uh, yeah, it should be fine. Especially since that means I have to, you know, take care of wearing stuff and all. I know like nothing about Veroid. Okay, let me tell you something. Veroid actually gives you... Um, and, and, and it actually gives you a mod, a uh, pre-made model of an anime boy or an anime girl. And what you can do is that you can I, I customize a lot of stuff in it. Like they gave you the the pre-made stuff, like um, the for clothes and all. But you can customize the textures too. So that means you can uh, you have uh, some uh, pre-made face, but like you, uh, you can uh, change the textures if you want to. To make yourself look better than that. And this is actually the, the moment where I bought a new face texture. And I'm changing some stuff in it. Of course. Of course. Um, the, I bought it. And they told me that I could do some modifications. So that should be fine. Oh yeah. This is uh, how it happens. And of course with fingers, but I have to change a lot of stuff after that on, uh, with, um, I'll say it. With uh, Unity, Blender and all. Like to have the, uh, the, the code I have at the moment. But yeah, uh, there's some progress in it. Uh, we'll see how, how it works after that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna play the finished Shape No Space a lot today. Why is there no sound? Oh no, never mind. So what? Where, where were we? Oh yeah, you were in the future at the moment now. We had the year 2023 where we had to... Uh, where we have to get, uh, I'll say it, the... Um, the archives of the inner space, because now uh, everyone has left at the moment. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, 
So yeah, we actually are the uh, 2023 at the moment. After the year 2000 was uh, crashed and we had some problems about uh, the Imno space. So yeah. And I believe we found some uh, we found some stuff uh, like what happened in uh, in the uh, the lost and found. So we got this, this, this. There's some weird secret I caught. <coughs> oh sorry. <clears throat> oh my god, wait. <clears throat> okay. I should be fine. And there's a, apparently one other thing that I didn't find, which is about the high of the... Some, some Egyptian high. And apparently I joined Merchant at, at that symbol. So, I wonder what this is. The Illuminati for real for real. I wonder if it's not a reference to that. And at the same time... <clears throat> at the same time... Uh, we actually learned that one of the guys who... Uh, one of a uh, one of a person, uh, Samantha, who is an old employee of uh, Merchant Soft, actually was uh, being uh, one of the p people of the project. So they could find so they could find uh, some uh, some clue some uh, some proof about uh, Dylan Merchant doing a w uh, completely uh, shit on uh, the incident. On 2000, in the year 2000. So if you don't know, know what happened in uh, the year 2000, uh, there was the Y2K mine crash where some people died uh, because of the uh, helmet, the headset. Some people died because of the headset and uh, apparently Tim was uh, the one who got uh, found, was found guilty for this. But apparently, apparently Dylan Merchant, one of the creator of uh, Merchant, uh, one of the founder of Merchant Soft, could be the guilty in it. So yeah, and we actually learned that apparently Dylan is in our group at the moment. Ow! Money, money, money. Monty bit for points. Of course you want to do that for the points. <laughs> Thank you for the bit. So, yeah. This is weird that we got, uh, we found this and all, but uh, yeah. This is weird that he actually managed just to be here, but yeah. Wait, let me do something. I will be more generous this time because I need to give you the... <clears throat> But TTS, there we go. Maybe five thousand would be better for you guys for the TTS. There we go. So yeah, we are actually exploring some uh, some website at the moment to see how is it going, and we can go to the past. That's how it's going on. And I think we can and we can search a lot of stuff. Like because for example, we can. You know, do researches about butter, for example, and uh. Granny creams of butter ice cream. You take the hot butter, mix it with the ice cream, freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your microwave, make it real hot like a soup or a dip. We call it heat and sip. Very tasty and healthy too. Granny creams of butter ice cream. Way I just remembered something about the um, the Egyptian hide now. <coughs> so actually, I remember something about an Egyptian eye. I saw this guy, yeah. So where was the guy going? Like, hey, I'm Jesus and all. So apparently, there's something about the squishers deception. 
There we go. Was talking about the eye. This eye. The snake's eyes clearly drawn, clearly drawn to look like the Egyptian fern eye of the eye of Horus. This eye supposedly grants his view with sight but to sense good and evil, meaning that this snake is still trying out kids that good and evil do not exist. Who else tries to erase good and evil? I give it you an end. Satan did in the garden in serpent form. So apparently. Had you merchant there was something about the Eye of Horus? Children of Horus home. Children of hiding whole code references in utmost secrecy. And there's a password. So apparently if... If... And I say a big if... If Adrian Merchant is actually in it, Maybe he has a password somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a Sardian merchant. It was the for some reason, so let's try Arkan123. Children are hiding or cut references in almost secrecy. News of COH 1999 Winner's Banquet and Ritual Cleansing will be held at King's Food, King Foods and Feet. MPA Basement Chamber 2, January 9, 2000, those at 6 p.m. Plus one guest. So apparently, this is something really weird. Go, little cute now. Oh, God. No, what the fuck, Nico? <laughs> <coughs> okay, then, I will do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, that's not the thing. Oh, wait, I'm sorry about that. Wait, I need to do this before for Nico. This is so humiliating. My board is not overboard, I don't think so. God damn it. Wait, I need to put it again. Money, money, money. My name not won the board. I do not think so. I mean Sai, like if you go to the wide, you can see that you are you and the you have like donated 30k bits at this point. You're crazy. Hello, Sarah and Neko. How are you all doing? Both of you. Okay, apparently I got a mail. Sorry about that. Let me check. Wow, great job finding that other stuff, I think. For any catcher. Yeah, those guys were weird. Was this just some kind of dumb competition between which guys? Disappointing, really. I thought it might open up to some sort of conspiracy. Chelsea. Oh wow, the difference between Natural at 2 and me, yes, is because you keep giving a lot of bits to me, and I don't know why, but that's so generous of you, thank you. <laughs> God damn it. Woke up from a nap, it was this, and now I'm watching Set and do that. <laughs> Stop calling the turtle, I'm not a turtle, okay? We're close to finishing this game, guys, by the way. Oh, by the way, since you weren't here, I will annoy you, bother you with some music then. Because you were looking for it. Granny creams, hot butter, ice cream. Take the hot butter, mix it with the ice cream. Freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your microwave, make it real hot like a soup or a dip. We call it heat and sip. Okay, little meow meow. Stop calling me little meow meow. Why are you looking at me? God damn it. it. Made book progress in Resident Evil 4. Got the better shotgun and picked up at the damn soul. Let's go. Let's go, Sayrag. Yeah, you're making some good progress in the game, I see. How about big meow? God damn it. I don't know what to say about that. Ice cream, freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your
Stop calling little meow meow. God damn it, say off. God damn it, Nico, I don't Nico, you dummy. God damn it. Uh, okay, so apparently we uh. Okay, I see what's going on now, but now I need to get some proof about the, to uh. I need to get some proof about uh you know about Dylan fucking up. But uh, I don't know what to search. I know it's about the thing with uh. Safe mode activated. Oh, there's a safe mode activated. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Oh wait, I remember something. There was a book on the website, wait, because of uh, apparently, uh... Yeah, because apparently Net Seller is bugging out, but if you go save mode... Save mode activated. Yeah, that works now. Hey man. Look out! Let's go. Hey, Chad, you know what you are right now? Loser. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. Ow! Loser. God damn it. I I'm buying that fight. No, no, Sarah, no, stop it. Shut up, brain stuff with Okan, let's go. Oh my god, the pause like being crazy again. We got trouble. Oh my lord. Oh no. <laughs> That's not cool. Should have sold that fucking ow! 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 <laughs> what is going on? What happened to my chat? Why are you going crazy today? <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, so I remember Cody that was best, best, yeah. Wait, there's something broken here apparently. Wait, let me check that. Imagine self clinical leak backup. <gasps> what is that? 1231 Imagine some clinical trial back leak backup. The final reckoning. Act 1. Merchant Soft commissions hypnospace headband clinical study to silence beef brain rumors. Act 2. Merchant Soft isn't happy with the findings and buries them. Instead, commissioning paid test by independent experts. Act 3. Ah, damn it. 
Wakening releases copies of a damning document, bringing an end to Imna Space Imagine stuff. Good riddance. Click to download and release Imna Space Clinical Study. Downloading S0225 PSG Hypnospace 1, S0225 PSG Hypnospace 2, Hypnospace Clinical Abstract. Oh, nice. We may have found something interesting then. Oh, let me see. Safe mode activated. If you do not, you stop using uh, hypnosis, you will die. Well, too late. Some people died because of this, unfortunately. Is there something I can find with this? Wait. How are you doing, but, uh... Okan, because I don't think I actually asked you this. Downloading deleted. Downloading deleted. One. Deleted. Two. There's some deleted files, apparently. Wait. Ah, uh, no, uh, nothing works then, okay. Still surprised by this button is on discount. <laughs> Are you gonna be stuck with that? Wait, I think we can go to his Ibn space maybe. Let me check at that. Net Center Loyalist Savin Aka Resistance Leader. Maybe we can get some information about that. And committed financially questionable decision of buy MTG booster. You have been really addicted to. Uh, <laughs> you have been really addicted to uh, to MTG to ma magic for gathering nowadays. or kind of white. <laughs> oh, leaky piping. What is leaky piping? <laughs> Wait, leaky piping, they say. Wait. Just new set to have new cards, so many cards right now. Oh my god. Oh. Much of stuff, leaky piping. Mystery of Deleted Zones. In this edition of Leaky Piping, Metrosome deletes five thriving Pinot Space and communities because we're geeks and losers. Leaky Piping 1, the Mystery of Deleted Zones. Can we do something about the geeks? You have been putting it off. Adrian, the geeks make up one third of our, of our citizens and half of the zones in the Pinot Space City menu. We can just delete the pages. What do you want me to do? They are still everywhere. When new people come, they think it's a geek club. Even though space is different because it's for mom and dad and grandma and kids, not for computer geeks. We have five zones for geek losers and not even one zone for sports? It's ridiculous, Dylan. Okay, but tell me something today. Hello? I'm back. One intern, Ralph, some arcade, said to condense the geek zones into one sci-fi. Cybercar comics gaming zone, but make it seem like it, an, uh, an exciting event. Probably not a good idea because of inevitable black clash. Black clash? Ooh. Oh, maybe it's about um, Roddy? I forgot his name. Damn it. Can you move all the fires to the clunker so we can put the stadium on speedy one so it went fast on the big Y2K event? Oh, uh, yeah, it's Roddy. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. I didn't. Have you? Did you have anything to do with the Starport Castle Dreamville thing? Oh no, Roddy, I'm so sorry. We had a team of interns trying to solve a problem for us, and we chose to put the fusions together on their own server. And I totally forgot your pages were there. I should have watched them. It's okay, but that will be nice to know ahead of time. Is it just my connection, or is my page loading slower? Probably just hasn't propagated fully yet or something. It's no big deal. Well. Wow, merchants have been doing a terrible decision to Melanie. <laughs> Didn't spot a bad card game. In this piping edition of Leaky Piping, didn't merchants bad card game. Hey y'all, I wonder I'm working on knockout bugs now. Just wanted to let you know if 
that I'm testing out a lot with a few emphasis tonight. I'm the real, I'd really like to get in get it in by the Y2K update. Oh, the, yeah, this is when my car, my game just crashed. Okay, if you think you have time. Not being rude here, but I don't think we have time. We didn't need to address the bugs that we are not even bugs. Mm. <coughs> Come on, Dylan. You know we can finish that thing in time. It's cool, but it's time, not time yet. Samantha, man, your miners. Dylan is a whiz kid. Wow. For coverage, Ryan. I can't finish it. It would be nice if more when one person of this damn company I like here understood how huge this could be. I'm finishing myself if I have to. Do your boring daily grind drone work and I'll do this myself because I'm apparently the only person with creative vision here. <laughs> I love how... Um, I love how they, uh, I heard a poop after that. Wow. I'm sorry for exploding. It's just that this has to happen. How long will be released for the New Year's Day update? It's the only way cyber worlds won't crush us. Yes, it is ambitious, but I'm really just trying to keep us all having a job here. Cyber worlds, uh, cyber worlds as good graphics and games. It's true, Samantha. We need to get on the balls. So apparently, so apparently they are fucking up at the moment with all the problems going on. Okay, I see. Damn. Nam? What is Nam? In this edition of Leaky Piping, a brief exchange between Adrian Merchant and RT Nam. RT Anim help. Namaste. Nam to you too. I feel told apart. Grace Peak Cola Co is, is such a big claim, but I think we're getting cold feet. I need guidance to bring them up and back. Kupak is a big, big mess. Ah, peace and be still, dear Adrian, for I already know that this pain has been plaguing you. It fear of your eyes that you spoke in the investor meeting this very morning. You're not centered, Adrian. You're... Adrian, are you still with me? Is your quiet corner ready? Yes, I'm at the quiet corner in my mind, I'm in my comfy chair of chair too. Oh, a chair of chair? Okay. Very good. Now chin slowly as we practice. Om gum ganapata ye nama. Um gum gumpli nam um gumli You know, Adrian, we should do this outside. Okay. This sounds bad. Hey, Santa's here. My incredible help plug we couldn't send me these. New Year's, he promises to be very interesting for Merchant Sun. Leaky Piping 4. This sounds bad. We should probably stop using it in the space now. Okay, I'm donating some stuff, you don't mind. I think I actually went too fast, maybe. <laughs> I'm not a medical expert, but I find winning it right. They're basically telling us that people are getting decent sleep with uh, with using hypnospace. Lazy bums who stay up late watching TV don't get good sleep. So, what's your damn point? In the space, we can we can talk to people and learn, which help brains a lot. Not my point. The doc said that. Look, my worry about it. Don't worry about it. If people are tired after sleep time, just get on fewer nights per week. People are responsible for their own choices. Too much ice cream will kill you, but no one does studies for that. Yeah, in the space, it's like ice cream. It's good. Wow. Adrian is delusional. It's fine. Also, it's our study. It was privately commissioned by us, so it can uh, just stay private. But I would just suggest it if there was a day, de uh, way to deal with a beef brain rumors. We'll find some other way. Not a big deal. Good. Um, the report said that beef brain is fake, right? That's, that would be bad for PR if I was real and people brains did that. Yuck. Not good for, for new, evening news. I'm reading the ops card. Lots of big words in... I'm guessing you're still trying to get Hardlaw out in the 2000 update? 
I don't mind this HS Payday stuff, but it wasn't the job I was hired to do, you know? As a matter of fact, we were uploading a press preview demo now. As long as the team puts in the hours, I'd build them by 2000 for sure. Surprised? Yes, yes, but more skeptical than surprised. Then I'm begging you. Please pause the game right now and get more people on stability. I just went the update last week and it gave me the worst headache of my life. Literally, this can seriously get hurt people. Oh, interesting. You know what? I will. Safe mode activated. No. Safe mode activated. Let's uh, let's send it to Sam now. Thanks. I think I'll lose and look into this. Oh yeah, this is what I forgot to do. I we, I needed to take the this to uh. To Samantha, damn it. Okay, so that means I can actually go to the. So maybe I can give her the proof about the, the problem with the. The proof about uh message received from MS underscore Samantha. Okay. About the proof for um I'd say it, about uh Immunal Space being toxic and all. Okay, got a message? Dear God. Z Dear God, Zeth, you just found the jackpot. These conversations are painful to relieve. Even the stars we never followed through in on banning Tim. If you can find anything else, especially concrete medical evidence, send it to me. There is something, you know, something floating around, around there. In the meantime, I'm going to start putting uh, this information together for what authorities. Yeah, exactly. This is what I thought. About the, sli uh, about the sleeping problems? We found it in here. Safe mode activated. Yes, this. Downloading S0225PSG Hypnospace 1. 1. S0225 PSG Hypnospace 2. 1. Hypnospace Clinical Abstract. 1. Important message received from Dylan. What? What? D Dylan? Haha, <laughs> we're leaving you with those days? Hey there, Zed Thinker. I noticed you were whacking a violation on some user. You do know there are other ways to get in no coin, right? Anyway, just what it was amusing, it's funny about how violation reporting system works without our servers online. But hey, it just goes to show how good I am at coding. Also, your name sounds so familiar. Did we used to chit chat? Uh, I hope he's not spying to me on that though, because... Uh, Fuck it, I guess we have to do it then. <sighs> Let me see what is the proof of that, because I actually downloaded them, but I'm not sure if it's that. Oh, I don't understand that much. So okay, the brain activity is, uh, go is still going on, even with uh, Advent active. And if we compare to the... Yeah, um, I don't understand a thing about it. Maybe it's to say that, uh, yeah, the pop... Yeah, it's still not good with that, apparently. And what did they say on the clinical abstract? The, um, in the space, yes, mm, could have gone in popularity, but I also tried to criticism from laymen and scientists alike. New research has been conducted on this new range of products thus far. 
Uh, this study aims to examine all users' sleep quality is affected when wearing the hypnospace headbands. Oh, wait, maybe we have an idea of that. The mean time spent in REM sleep during the night without the hypnospace headband was 22.9% plus minus 5.2%, similar to data found in literature. During the night where the patient used in the hypnospace headband, time spent in REM sleep increased significantly to 49.7% plus minus 1.9%, indicating poor sleep quality in those nights. Almost all patients experienced an increase in REM sleep when using the hypnospace headband, 16 significantly so. Subjects reported the average to good sleep quality during the nights without the hypnospace headband, but reported the worst sleep quality in during the nights where they had worn the hypnospace headband. Okay, so apparently the hypnospace was really dangerous, apparently. Oh my lord. Okay, let's give it to Samantha now. Okay, let's wait to get all the information about that. Man, that's creepy. <gasps> okay, we're waiting for the answer for Samantha now. Maybe we can find the answers about Meng as well. Important message received from MS underscore Samantha. Oh, wait, what? I got a mail from Samantha, wait. You got it! You're beautiful! Just a job that girl just hung up investigating prowess. Did you know that? These reports are of all fine implications. It seems that people in sleep time weren't really sleeping much at all. Surprised more people weren't hurt. So together with chit chat logs, you... You found we have enough to put away dead dimension for a long time. Stay tuned, we know we might hear your name with the news up here soon. Oh. Okay. So I think it's over now, right? Okay. Message received from Dylan. What the hello summit what? Switch to the HAP internet to capture before viewing. But you soon you'll figure out like I did that HAP Chelsea is actually MS Samantha, a former employee of Merchant Soft. Working with Zed Thinker, she's attempting to, find, to compile evidence that proves that Merchant Soft is guilty of several crimes, one of which is knowledge of inherent dangers associated with sleep time computing. Whether she found and submitted these files or not, the truth of this allegation is simple. I am responsible for Y2K mind crush. Oh my lord. Attached, you'll find a link to the confession of sorts. Sorry if this letter sounds a bit formal. I've been waiting to write one like it for a while. Dreading it, actually. However, I'm not scared anymore. I've been he it's been hitting me for over 20 years and I just need peace. I'm not expecting forgiveness from any of you. I know several incredible people that I, I previously did, did not. I financially experienced him in space and the beauty of sitting and brought into the world for myself. I am so, so sorry to you, Tim, more than anything, almost anyone. Send this to wherever you need or want to. I'll be waiting. Wait, what is this actually? What did he put? Death Thinker, Simon Fine, West of Amnesty Space, Archival Project Team. I finished my game. Um, I'm scared about it. Not gonna lie.
Is it gonna be a, a virus again? Okay, we'll see about it. Jump shift, lasso, spacebar. The figure connected to outlaw. All connected citizens successfully loaded to load outlaw. What happened to the road? Do I capture what? Citizen was and Thai government page has ascended. Oh. C citizen was as ascended. Oh, don't tell me you did something like that, though. Citizens 0556332 is ascended. Um. Apparently, he did something for the victims of a mine crash. Let me be sure about that, wait. Dark Collective. Yeah, this is definitely for the, a tribute for the... For the victims. Being leader worthy. So yeah, apparently Danny really didn't like what he did. I thought it'd be, you know, just a uh, man child going crazy like it's not my fault and all, but yeah, I guess he felt guilty about killing the, the people doing the mine crash. Bun Rubber 50 has ascended. Zane works 14 has ascended. Uh, Zane. As much as it was annoying, it was really fun funny to have uh, you know a crazy kid educated and all. A lot Dylan is on the loose. Oh, what is that thing? You got me. Check me down, take me in. I won't put your fight. I won't put up a fight. I think I captured the 
the guy who triggered the man crash then. Is it over? Uh, is it over for the game now? Oh, we're turning to him now, it's okay. Downloading seven files. Oh! It's for credits! You haven't finished the game now. We finished in No Space Outlaw, guys. Wow. Well, that was, um, that was fast. I mean, I, I needed two stream, uh, three streams to do it. And yeah, I was close to the end. But I didn't know it was that close to the end. I thought it was, you know, more than that. Have you ever cap package, Nico? But yeah, it felt like I was. Now, so what now? Well, we can do several things. This wasn't even an hour. So, um, what I wanted to do is that um, I will talk to you about some stuff about the, uh, about the developers after that. We could also do some research on Hypnospace Outlaw because I didn't finish that much. I finished the main story, but we didn't get that much information uh, about what happened with uh, Minx. And yeah. But yeah, you can, uh, we can see the credits now. Which is a page actually, let's go. Well, congrats to them, because, uh, damn! That was an amazing game! That was a really great game! General Nuisance Mike Woes. <laughs> okay. No, really, that was really good. I, um, it was one of the best experiences of an indie game I could get. You know, searching for some stuff, being the moderator of of, uh, of a social media like that. For something that has uh, so much charm in the 90s that I never, uh, you know, discovered. I don't I don't know how the 90s looked like when I, uh, with the internet. Not gonna lie, I discovered the internet in the year 2000 like a lot of people, so... Yeah. Uh, hot damn, Chris Schlob, Sword of Kings uh, 128. Shane saw the storm hello. Queen Jazz, the way slave. Simon Cullis. Xavier Nelson Jr. What the hell a world of was in it? Really? The multiple music by Tavda, Everson Lemk, Cat Beats. Music by Jay Fallen. Half and Cloud. And uh, various animation, uh, nice. Oh, we got also the, the people who look like the, <laughs> the guys now. Christian, Christian Harlan. Oh, funny, Samantha was uh, was uh, played by the by the designer's uh, either sister or significant other, maybe. Wow, we got a lot of people in it. Final stage, better status. Man, that's really cool! Oh my god! Man, it was such a good game. It was a great game. Oh, it was the Kickstarters too. Oh, I see. Uh, I'll be right back really fast. I need to uh, go for an account meeting really fast. Return to your post.
Oh, why I'm back. Well, I think you can uh, you can find yourself you you know if you play uh, if you uh, donated something for the game at this point. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't because I don't you know do a lot uh, do that unfortunately. So I should do it one day. I think we got all the pages in uh, the uh, internet because as uh, you can see you can find a lot of uh, information about uh, no space with that to see how much uh, how much you found in it so you know we I could do some uh, some research like, on my own about all this kind of stuff you know It could be a day, you know, a, a day where I just uh, uh, archive all of them in no space to see what we, we, we miss or not. I think it could be a nice thing to do. A nice thing to try. Yeah, I think I could do it one day. Uh, but yeah, I think we will stop with a game now. We will start with a game because I know that the <gasps> look at look at the love squid here. Oh, look at like a love love squid. Um, maybe I will take the opportunity to tell you about something else about the game about the the developers because uh, I've seen some interesting things. Not gonna lie, it uh, you know it makes me hype. YouTube. So apparently they made um, an announcement about Imno Space Next, which is apparently an announcement uh, announcement of uh, what they're gonna do. So how about we watch it together? Don't it's a Zed Thinker. Yeah, it's fine. Um, because the thi the thing is five minutes. So I think you, we don't mind if we watch it together. We. We. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do that now. Okay. Let me take uh, Inno Space next. Discover the uh, the future of Inno Space. Okay. Um, please? Thank you. Okay, let's see what uh, they're gonna do. In the, what are the next projects? Hello everyone, Jay Tholen here with some news for you. <laughs> the ever-expanding world of hypnospace and sleep time computing. First, the official Hypnospace Outlaw vinyl soundtrack album from Fangamer is now in stock. This fancy two-disc, four-sided set is pressed on clear vinyl and features music from Freezer, Basidia, The Chowder Man, Seepage, Zareed, Barnaby's Chair, and more. Which are which are which are people in uh, in uh, composers in game? 
Have you ever wanted to let the world know that you stand with Goofer, but couldn't figure out how? Well, now it's easy. Buy a Gumshoe Gooper shirt, and your commitment to freedom will be known. <laughs> I can't believe Check it. Check out the Fan Gamer website for more information. I can't believe they're actually making uh, in, in game uh, in universe merchandise like that. It's so cool <laughs> with Gooper. I'd also like to briefly remind you that the physical Switch edition of Hypnospace Outlaw is still available and comes with a mini disc containing 20 minutes of fresh audio from Merchant Soft, Freezer, and the Chowder Man. The final helping of news for you is something that some of you have been waiting for, and some of you may have even seen coming. Let's check it out. Set in an alternate reality 2003, Dream Settler loads you into an entirely new simulated internet, built by a strange and endearing cast of characters. Yes, as you could see, they're making a sequel for Ibn Space Outlaw. Not the alternate internet, no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, not oh no, not the alternate internet. Come on. No, I'm I'm really happy that the game got a success to a point where they're making a sequel of it. That's so cool. Especially when now we're making something about the 2000 uh, internet. So this is something that I knew I uh, knew. Not uh, because the nineties is, you know, completely different because they got GeoCities and all. And but they're making something for the 2000 and uh, yeah, not gonna lie, I'm hyped with that. I'm really hyped and it looks really good. Yeah, but it's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. What the teleshopping channel ass shit is that? I mean, it's, um, it's intentional. You play the role of a private detective, solving cases brought to you by Sleepnet's virtual settlers. I think I have a, a, a big use of playing, uh, playing a game where I just, you know, um, how to say it? Why I play a lot of private detectives. Oh wait, that's you Goldie! I didn't see you! Hello Goldie! Welcome to the office! What are you doing? Dream Settler is still in development, but I want to show you some of the features our team has been working on. Uh, you can what see some uh, familiar name here. I just added a few songs to- How's the- how's the turtle doing? Shut up. I'm doing fine. I just um, I just uh, finished the Imna Space Hot Law. And I'm so happy that I finished it because it's an amazing game and all. 2003 of internet? Ah yes, the Colonel Wars memes and edgy remixes of Eminem songs incoming. <laughs> and also all, all memes and all, you know. To this playlist. Don't worry, they were legally acquired. You can also drag and drop songs to read. Dang, I missed an entire game, Sag. I mean, uh, I played uh, Emno Space I Love over two, uh, for, uh, two weeks ago. And I just finished it because I was very close to the end, so don't worry about it. Next up is the mail application. This is the main way you'll interact with people. Wait. Zane walks 36? Zane walks is here? What? Okay, for people who don't know Zane, for people who didn't see the, 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 the game, let me show you with Zane. I can get so you can guess the song from that when I already love y'all. No, I don't have it, unfortunately. Sorry about that. So for people who don't know who is uh, who is Zane, Zane is this guy. 
It's this guy. It's a douchebag. It's a teen douchebag who's making, uh, you know, who's uh, thinks he's a badass on the internet and is a fucking uh, bad person. <laughs> like he made a page. Like he, like he made a page where he shat on someone else like that. It's to show how bad it was. And he did make also um, a comic. Let me show you the comic. Look at how amazing it is. And go get up to uh, get up and go to school, dude. Why do you sound like my mom? Oh, well, this sucks. I must kill Zane before he taps into his secret powers. Next time on Sayo's X, whose dream you had? They are real. The demons, the green energy, your secret power is in double pistols. All of it is real. We need your help, Zane. Oh, I know people will, and I only made those kind of pages. I mean, he's... I mean, he's a kid. He's, he's 15. When you're 50... When you're 15, you're bound to do some stupid shit. I did that to a year 15, you know. So, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot to read the, the pages. Uh, they, they give a tiny word to the people. Wait. Well, okay, let's read the pages before we leave. Ronnie, your family came after us hard after the crash. They disgusted me. They smelled like body odor. The clothes were stained, stretched out and dirty. They wore flips flops. They came all the way to San Francisco's offices and we sent them away. I want you to know that if they're still around, I'm going to make it right. I'm sorry. Dark Trial Tiff. Tiffany, I took your future away from you. Your little words delighted others. Mine destroyed them. them. I'm sorry. What the 50? I hope you your, you're with your wife now, Carl. I'm sorry. Mavis, I'm sorry. Zane works 14. You could become someone your mother was proud of. I'm sorry, Zane. Wally, you may not buy this, but I consider you my best friend at the end there. My work consumed me, it became me. People who were helping me build my masterpiece were invisible. For all of that, you were always willing to come back and put up with my garbage, and God, I wish you hadn't. I'm sorry. Yeah! Uh, mm. Yeah. Danny seems to, uh, you know, feel really guilty about what happened here. So yeah, I, I showed you with Zane now. I showed you with Zane. So yeah, let's continue this. In Dream Sim. Next up is the mail application. This is the main way. So Zane works for this. So Zane works in this alternate universe is, uh, is alive now. It apparently is uh, 36 years old. In Dream Settler. You'll be able to reply no. to their messages and attach files. Looks like this person wants me to help them find a soup recipe. Oh. And here's the file manager. You can sort files all kinds of different ways and also toggle between list view and grid view. That's like making on a little uh, PC now. I hope it's the right kind. Well, let's send it and find out. Uh. All right, let's attach this recipe and send it. I could type a message, but I don't feel like it. And now for the Nexus browser. You are getting hacked. This junk is stupid and boring. So I'm hacking you. Now what check the fuck? out my twisted little game. If you can handle it. Copyright Zen worked for the six. You blew up my family. <laughs> you hacked my computer. You killed my best friend. And you thought you killed me. For two years, I've been biding my time. Hack blood energy rages through my veins. Hope you're ready, you mother flipping turd pile. Because I am the X Slayer. Ha <laughs> 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 
Close the browser because. So the developers at the same time will make will make a retro FPS with the universe of Series X developed by Zane Wax. I wish it was a lie, but it's actually real. This is gonna be a real game, of course. Since I love uh, retro FPS, yeah. I won't buy this game, of course. What do you think I will do at this point? Come on. I probably just gave too much away. But yeah, look forward to Dream Settler. And that's that. There's still a ways to go, but I hope you've enjoyed this early look at Dream Settler, the sequel to Hypnospace Outlaw. The team and I are looking forward to seeing you all again in sleep time. Bye bye now. Push this with game two or else. So yeah, uh, Tender Shoot seems to have done a really good job at the moment. So yeah, there's two games I will be expecting then, if you uh, if you can imagine, because uh, yeah, I really loved uh, Imno Space Outlaw so much. So yeah, Imno Space Outlaw was one of the best games I played. <laughs> Hello, I'm showing uh, Zane's page afterwards. <laughs> uh, wait, so let me see if Okami is now available, uh, is now doing his thing or not, because, uh, Oh no, it's going to be Sunday. It's going to be Sunday. Oh, so I guess I have more time. Oh, never mind then. Well, uh, since... Um... Oh my god, my eyes are so fucking dry. <laughs> are you going to be okay, Goldie? I think you just woke up. How about you clean your eyes or something like that? So yeah, you could see some pages like that, for example. You could see you could see some more some old pages like that. It's so charming. It's such a good game. Now I've been playing about an hour to down uh, calm down and vape some dank. Oh my god, are you okay, Goldie? So it's a combo of crying and weed that's drying out my eyes. Oh my god, be careful with that, Goldie. Please be yeah, I'm semi okay now. Okay. Sometimes you can see that there are some real, <laughs> some real uh, shit posting uh, music. Are you, yeah, it's okay. You're not getting crazy. That looks like the only uh, also strange block of cheese. With a, with a block of cheese? I don't remember that one.
And you think, uh, because we got this one, of course. Brandy cream, butter ice cream. Hot butter, mix it with the ice cream. Freeze it up, cool, you can see it on your screen. Put it in your microwave, make it real hot like a soup or a dip. We call it heat and sip. Very tasty and healthy too. Brandy cream, hot butter ice cream. <laughs> These, those all gifs, uh, gifs are hitting the deepest parts of my brain. I've yet to decide if it's good or bad. <laughs> Nico is going crazy now because of the old gifs, as you can see. No, I don't want the uh, American uh, theme, though. And apparently, the stadium wasn't even available. I mean, it was supposed to be available the 7th January 2000. Hello. But yeah. Mm, okay, so I was wrong about one thing, so I guess, um, okay, what do you think we should do? We sh should we start a new game with Yakuza 3, or are we doing some chatting by w with watching some videos I found? You tell me, guys, what should we do? Do we look at stupid, vi uh, stupid uh, weird videos, or are we starting a new game? If we're starting a new game, it's gonna be Yakuza 3 Remastered. Because I think I will, um, I will uh, cancel tomorrow's stream because uh, I forgot that uh, someone was debuting. We... Stupid word the videos? You will see. <laughs> not, uh, not gonna lie, uh, I found something... something... And just so you tell me what you well, what do you want? Maybe it's better to start Nyakuza during next stream. Yeah, but uh, that means uh, I will do it next week, not tomorrow. Or or what I do is that I will start the stream uh, sooner, because I know that at five p.m. Okami is going to do his debut. So. Maybe the best is that I will maybe postpone, uh, I will uh, change the time for the stream tomorrow, so we, uh, so we play Yakuza 3. Yeah, Okami is starting at 5pm tomorrow. So what I can do is that I can start the stream at 2pm, so, you know, we can, uh, we can uh, have 3 hours of Yakuza and then I can raid uh, Okami after that. Otherwise, today we can have a lot of we have a lot of time. We can do whatever we want. Mm, so yeah. So yeah, Neko is saying that we should start the Yakuza tomorrow, okay? Uh, Okan, Goldie, what do you think? And Cyrak too, if uh, they're still here. What do you think we should do? You know what, while you were deciding, well, let's put some music. Let's put the granny uh, videos, maybe. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Okan? <laughs> are you sure about that, Okan? We are, okay. Okay, so we will end the, the game now for... Uh, give us cringe videos. Okay. Especially now it's gonna be fun because it's gonna be about, uh, you know... Uh, about gaming. So, um, years ago, I watched a Kadika's video about, um, a certain person that reviews, uh, games, of all, very old reviews games, you know, from the 90s. Oh my god, <laughs> these, these videos reviews are, tr are a real trip, because they're real, very weird. Oh god, oh god knows what I'm talking, gaming in the Clinton years. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's gaming of the Clinton years we we're doing. 
so for people who don't know, gaming in the Clinton years is a ga is a review game review show on TV. But was known to have a really weird vi uh, 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 made by someone by uh, made someone by George Wood. And yeah, let's say that this guy, uh, guy is kind of crazy. This guy is very crazy at times because I don't know. It's not it's not logical at all. We don't know what he's doing. I think it's best if I show you what's going on. So let's watch the video, the review of a Tom Wade 2. Also, don't don't ask him why it's called gaming even Clinton years. I don't I don't understand what is why. I don't know why it's called like that. I don't know. It's no big surprise that IDOS is moving up the video game food chain considering last year's mega hit Tomb Raider. The sequel uses the same formula to great success, with minor control changes for sidestepping and of course all new worlds and vehicles. The game starts off with a peek at ancient China. A dragon attacks the Great Wall and a soldier notices a dagger embedded in his chest. Oddly, removing the dagger results in the dragon's death. Weird. <laughs> you play Lord Croft. Complete with front-loaded anvils, searching for the dagger centuries later. Your path to the dagger will take you just about everywhere. And that snow speeder kicks a major you-know-what. Some major you-know-what, okay. This time around, but you may not notice the difference. This is good, because that way everybody's happy. Obviously, we're giving two... Control A, gameplay A, challenge A. I, I don't understand this, though. What are they reviewing like that? I mean... I don't know. Tomb Raider 2 a good review. We fully expected to do so. We knew the game would be great, and it is. And we've only just scratched the surface. In answer to Lara's giant earrings, however, we have a challenge to IDOS. In Tomb Raider 3, create a storyline in which Lara gets breast cancer. a challenge to Ida. <laughs> Tomb Raider 3 create a storyline in which Lara gets breast cancer. Imagine the drama of a vulnerable Lara Croft still persisting in her worldly adventures despite her illness. It needs fleshing out, no pun intended, but we guarantee the gaming world would be shocked, stunned, and moved in the effort to make Lara's character more meaningful. We love Lara, but it's about time the industry had a big shock for a change. It's no shock that Tomb Raider 2 is excellent. Everyone should buy it. Period. The end. <laughs> can, can you explain to me why you said that? <laughs> why would you give Lowcroft's breast cancer? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the level of uh, <laughs> this is the level of uh, reviews that you might imagine. Oh my god, just the idea that he wants to give Larkov breast cancer for you know adding some complicity. Oh my lord, oh this is crazy. Uh, let me show you another thing, uh... Oh yeah, the one about Donkey Kong Country. Got milk? No, I don't have milk. But we're having some, um... Some videos about, uh... About get about gaming... Uh, the ape is back. Milk, yes, exactly. In his first action game ever, Donkey Kong Country. What makes this game so remarkable is that it's the first game created with fully rendered graphics. What the heck is fully rendered? To put it in a nutshell, fully rendered means that the characters and all other graphics were created by computer modeling from all sides and angles of the object. 
Thus, animation is totally complete and uninhibited using any view of the object. The technology is not incredibly different than that which was used to create the dinosaurs of Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park or the wonders of the mask. One of the best examples of the 3D rendering mm -hmm. in this game is the water level. The shark, also known as Chomps Jr., is an incredible sight. Wow, wow, incredible graphics. As well as all the backgrounds were created with rendering techniques on the Silicon Graphics computers. This amazing new technology, discovered at Rare by Nintendo's Tony Harmon, will be the next standard in video game animation and graphics. This technology marks a new era. The programmers of Donkey Kong Country were able to stretch their Are you doing Shigo by the way? Since Donkey Kong doesn't have a particularly detailed history. The main idea of the story is that you're trying to get back the bananas that were stolen from your stockpile. Kong, Diddy are the main monkey characters, but throughout the travels on Kong the Diddy? Donkey Kong Country, you'll encounter several characters that are extremely diverse in personality. From an ostrich named Espresso to a rhino named Randy, Hello. The game Donkey is Kong Country is an incredible game. This statement is very human. <laughs> Dude, you not just wait for it. Just wait for it, Trickle. Just wait for it. Thrills and is certainly destined for greatness. Cranky Kong, the star of the original game and also DK's grandfather, will give you advice throughout the game. He thinks you need it. Hundreds of bonus levels result in a game that will never be boring. The music also adds a lot to the game. Play it loud in stereo, dude. <laughs> Why does he sound like a fucking kid? Uh, like how boomers think kids sound like? God damn it. Music on CD from Nintendo if your Nintendo isn't hooked up to a stereo system. Cranky Kong remembers music in the old days, but Donkey Kong is truly with the times, so to speak. His music is great for listening. Just pause the game to hear the music without the game's sound effects. Speaking of sound effects, you'll notice the quality of the echoes in the caves and Donkey Kong's eight noises. <laughs> okay. Donkey Kong Country is truly perfect. If you do not get this amazing new generation of Donkey Kong madness, you are stupid. <laughs> I know, that's insulting, but it's also the truth. If you're a true video game fan, you will not hesitate in the slightest bit to buy this remarkable piece of video game history. <laughs> what does he know? happened? How did he get to 0 to 100 like that? What the hell? Dude, come down! Donkey Kong Country is truly perfect. If you do not get this amazing new generation of Donkey Kong madness, you are stupid. Yes, I know, that's insulting, but it's also the truth. If you're a true video game fan, you will not hesitate in the slightest bit to buy this remarkable piece of video game history. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you think it's okay to call people who eat stupid in the review? What the hell? Get it now. The graphics are an example of a revolution. Play control is very responsive and monkey feeling. The challenge is high because you must often pass several hard levels to reach Candy's save point. The two-player game option is awesome since you can press A to let another player play. What's even cooler is the way the game lets the next player pick up where the last player died without interrupting <laughs> gameplay. If you want the other player to play, just press A. Insulting, but it's all also the truth. No, Draco, no! Game of a decade. No. What? What did he put the game on the screen after that? What? What the? Decade? Yes. But, uh, yeah, the decade apparently. <laughs> decade like that, I guess. More like game of a dickhead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me see what other game in the Clinton years we can get. Oh yeah, the Toy Story one. Oh lord, this one. Oh this one. Oh my lord. <laughs> this one is just completely hip shit. The first
first Super Nintendo game ever from Disney Interactive is Toy Story. When you pop in this game, the first thing you notice is the poor edging on Woody. The Are you sure that you're only the first thinking about the poor edging on Woody? Are you sure about that? The first Super Nintendo game ever from Disney Interactive. Is original Final Fantasy VII with you around there? I'm not sure about that. It is Toy Story. When you pop in this game, the first thing you notice is the poor edging on Woody, the main character of the movie and the character you control in the game. The Toy Story movie was done with Silicon Graphics computers. Ah, Silicon Graphics again. Let's go. Created with the same 3D computer models that were used in the making of the blockbuster movie. We don't know, however, if the game actually used Silicon Graphics computers. If SGI computers were involved, we suspect they were only used for character animation because the backgrounds do not have the detailed quality graphics of Donkey Kong Country. As any good devoted game player knows, Donkey Kong Take a shot every time you say Silicon Graphics. Yes, exactly. I will do it. Have edging problems. What's even more strange is that Woody is the only character with edging problems. All the other characters look great. The game's packaging box advertises an intensely 3D experience, but that statement is a bit misleading because the gameplay, although varied, is often two-dimensional. One question still remains. Why didn't Disney Interactive use Silicon Graphics computers for the entire game? Were they too expensive? I don't think so. <sighs> Come on. Big Disney is one of the richest corporations Unshot again. in the country. Let's get real here. The only explanation we can think of is that Disney Interactive did not use SGI computers because the graphics could not be handled by the Genesis for the Genesis version. Maybe that's why the game has nowhere near as many colors and detailed graphics as Donkey Kong. However, even that explanation doesn't seem plausible because Disney would have to be insane to pass up the chance of creating another Donkey Kong country. Besides, the Genesis version and the Super NES version don't have to be exactly the same, so what's the big deal? Disney certainly has the money to make another Donkey Kong Country, but unfortunately, they blew it. Another okay, but that's fine. Marketing strategy. Since Pocahontas appeared in the they just wanted to make their own game, it's fine. They don't need to do another Donkey Kong Country. Perhaps the Pocahontas game is being saved until the movie is released on video for some sort of joint marketing strategy. The last negative thing we have to say about this game is about the play control. In the third level, players will start foaming at the mouth when they can't jump up to the rope at the top of the screen. You know there's the thing of the bottom of the top left? When you know the lives are getting, you know, uh, going to 5 to 1, 1 to 5? It's a cheat. But guys, it's cheating to have unlimited health. <laughs> I know it because I played as a kid with cheats. But the guy is playing with cheats of doing his review. No matter how fancy you get in trying to bounce off, the <laughs> most likely not reach the darn thing. This kind of play control flaw is inexcusable, since Disney should have noticed it and fixed it. Realistically, you could end up trying twenty times to get Woody to grasp that stupid rope before you actually get it. You might get plays <laughs> with cheats fails anyway. <laughs> your Super NES and take out your anger by shooting a bunch of evil aliens. Then again, Doom is an extremely difficult game, so it might just make the problem worse. You might think we've come down hard on Toy Story. Well, we admit we have. It's a shame, though, that the outstanding gameplay quality resulting from the developer's hard work is masked by the impossibly high challenge level. Toy Story is too difficult, like The Lion King. Fortunately for you, though, we discovered... I don't remember The Lion King being that difficult, right? I mean, there was one or two levels that I, you know, completely hate shit, but... And not that difficult. Two awesome ways to cheat. I don't know about the Toy Story, but I remember the game was, you know, challenging, but not that difficult. In Toy Story. In the first level, bounce off the first beach ball you see and land on... The Lion King PS1 is a kid's game. No, he's talking about the Lion King game on uh, Genesis and uh, SNES. Not the one on PS1. In the bottom drawer of the dresser on the right. Duck down until the Sheriff's Star icon starts spinning in the upper left corner of the screen. Next, get on top of the dresser where you'll find the bucket of toy soldiers. Stand on top of the bucket, then press down while waiting for the lid to move 10 times. At this point, the stage select is activated. To skip any stage at any time, just press start followed by select. You can't win Wait, did he just actually give you a cheat to get the stage selector? What? Wait, 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 wait. The dresser where you'll start spinning bottom drawer toy story. In the first level, bounce off the first beach ball you see. Awesome ways to cheat in Toy Story. In the first level, bounce off the first beach ball you see and land on the bottom drawer of the dresser on the right. 
Duck down until the Sheriff's Star icon starts spinning in the upper left corner of the screen. Next, get on top of the dresser where you'll find the bucket of toy soldiers. Stand on top of the bucket, then press down while waiting for the lid to move 10 times. At this point, the stage select is activated. To skip any stage at any time, just press start followed by select. Nice gaming, dude! You can't win Toy Story without cheating, and this cheating brings victory much too quickly to warrant spending your money. People don't spend 60 bucks on a game they know they can beat. With that in mind, one wonders why companies release game codes as stage selects. Video game buying has become too much of a game. No pun intended. The game is about finding a game... <laughs> yes, exactly! Why, why are you saying that if you're cheating? What the hell, dude? <laughs> God damn but not by any means easy. Codes and other cheats make games easy and not worth buying. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell if a game will last, or if a code will be released that makes it yesterday's news. There is, however, one last bastion. Role-playing games like Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy III. These games will never fail you as far as challenge goes, but the potential for these games to become interactive movies has yet to be realized. With the Nintendo Ultra what? 64, however, that will surely change. Some of you may have seen screenshots of Toy Story and thought the graphics were poor. Indeed, screenshots do not represent the game well. Seeing the game in motion may actually impress you. Although Toy Story's graphics aren't perfect, they are pleasant looking and the gameplay is refreshing. In the first level, for example, you have to let the toy troops out of their bucket. Stand next to the bucket and press A, then listen. A perfect soundbite from the movie. Too bad that's one of the few in the entire game. Your chore doesn't end there, though. Once you've dispersed... Did you just... Did you just get hit by the helicopter after that? Dumbass. Troops, ...go knock the walkie-talkie off the shelf by standing next to it, kneeling and pressing A. The walkie-talkie will fall onto the floor so the troops can carry it downstairs and set up their recon post. Next, head right to the walkie-talkie that Woody will use to communicate with the troops. In the second level, the goal is to get all the toys back where they were before Andy gets upstairs. Oh, now it's down talking what to do now. It's a fucking walkthrough now going on. Get on the pump and get ready to jump on it when the pig walks by so that you can boost him into the toy chest. Repeat this process with the little toy robot, then do the same for Rex, the wimpy but lovable green dinosaur. Hey, at least he isn't Barney. Next, knock blocks away with your pull string by pressing A to free the action figure toy named Biff. Speaking of action figures, take a look at this one. It's a takeoff of Blanca from Street Fighter 2. Also notice the similarities to other Street Fighter characters on the package design. Aha! We caught these guys ripping off Capcom. Anyway. What the fuck? What the fuck? What do you mean they just... <laughs> What do you mean they ripped off Capcom? If they're not even the same characters? <laughs> they're not even the same characters! What are you talking about, George Wood? <laughs> what? <laughs> to free the action figure toy named Biff. No, the captive was made for Toy Story. We didn't... We didn't rip off this from Street Fighter. What the fuck? the similarities to other Street Fighter characters on the package design. Aha! We caught these guys... They don't even look the same! What the fuck? Ripping off Capcom. Anyway, let's get back to Toy Story. Oh my Once god. Is free, he will push the bucket over to the crane. The crane will then raise the bucket so the remote control race car can pass underneath. Biff and the car will get back to their place under the bed. So all that's left for you is to get in your place, which is on the bed. Do that and the level will end. Thank you, Bubba Vokfu, dude. version of Buzz Lightyear. Hit him on his face shield with your pulse string while avoiding Buzz's lasers. Buzz will warn you before he shoots a laser, so be sure to listen carefully for his egotistical taunting. As for the rest of the game, we have a few general hints for you. First of all, collecting stars helps you stay alive. So even though the task is boring, do it anyway. Second, read the messages put up by the etch -a sketch before each level. It tells you- <laughs> Is this really a hint you're giving to people? Please read the objectives before the levels. I think- <laughs> In tweed, yes exactly. What the fuck is going on with this guy? Before each level, it tells you what to do. Third, 
Don't try to rush through the third level to beat Buzz Lightyear. You'll never win. After all, he is a space ranger, or at least he thinks he is. Lastly, we recommend seeing the movie first so you don't have to read all the boring text in between the stages. Bottom line, when all is said and done, Toy Story has better gameplay than either of the Donkey Kong Country games, and players should even be able to adjust to the flawed play control. Toy Story's great gameplay is shrouded, however, by frustrating challenge and play control, and the yeah. cheap methods destroy what's left of the game after that. Wait, what? Wait, what did you say? Destroy what's left of the play is shrouded, however, should even be able to adjust to the flawed play control. Toy Story's great gameplay is shrouded, however, by frustrating challenge and play control, and the cheating methods destroy what's left of the game after that. Wait, what? What do you mean that cheat methods will ruin the game? What? <laughs> what? Dude. <laughs> you is saying that an option of cheating may ruin the game. <laughs> but you did that! Why are you saying the cheating is ruining the game? Because you're cheating at the moment. Now, check out our review of Toy Story, the movie. I have no idea what happened at this point. I I don't get it. I I'm I'm just I'm just confused with that. Oh my god. Okay. Uh let's see which game which game we should do afterwards. I must say shooting myself with a leg is really ruining this marathon. <laughs> Yes, this is actually like that. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let's find other things to do with uh, if Kitsy gaming in the Clinton. Oh my god, the seven hundred and eighty-nine. Uh... Oh yes, this one. Oh my god, this one. This one. Final Fantasy Eight is. I don't know. We'll see. This is so ominous. This is a game I will play on stream, by the way. I just need to finish Final Fantasy VI. I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, that cutscenes. Um, Judge Wood, are you here or not? Am I watching a what making of instead of a review right now? I'm going to start out by taking oh. you through this first part of the game step by step. You begin with Squall, an antisocial garden military trainee who has yet to meet the love of his life. First off, if this storyline is truly to reach epic levels, then I hope one of the lovers dies. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you're getting psychopathic or something right now, <laughs> George. First off, if this storyline is truly to reach epic levels, then I hope one of the lovers dies. From the, <laughs> the English patient to Titanic, death has proven to be the most effective instrument of high romantic drama. I remember watching this one. Oh, you saw this one? <laughs> Did you send it to me? Oh, there's a possibility I sent it, uh, this As one to you. you see, the full motion video is impressive. But sometimes the characters feel dead inside. They're too mechanical. Renoa's eyes aren't lively enough, and Squall's face shows no character. He's over idealized, and the emptiness he feels inside isn't quite captured in his eyes and facial expression. 
wait, but you said that the guy is dead inside and the eyes is not showing his dead? What? What are you talking about? Perhaps that will change. Ah, bon appétit, Nico. If you think Squall looks young, check out Zell, the ultimate geekazoid. Look how he smiles right into the camera. Can you get any cheesier than that? Oh well. I guess someone who says geekazoid is, you know, the geek one. When you're in class, go into the tutorial in the study panel on your desk. Here you can download your first two Guardian Forces, or GFs. A Guardian Force is a powerful mythical creature... Just 15 days short of a three years ago. Oh my god, yes. ...against certain types of magic. Shiva's elemental magic is ice, so she's effective against fire enemies. Look at this amazing animation! Once you download the GFs, leave the classroom. When you run into Selfie, tell her you don't have the time to give her a tour, and then head in the direction from which she came. <laughs> Notice the guy on the right. He'll give you seven magic cards. And now he's doing his walkthrough again, apparently. Take the cards and go down the elevator. On the next floor, keep walking out toward the screen until you find Quistus, your teacher. Talk to her and then leave the irritating music of Balam Garden. Don't fucking diss Balam Garden music, you motherfucker! Oi! Oi, that music is cool! What are you talking about with the annoying music? What the fuck, dude? What? I mean, you, no, you shut the fuck up, too. You fuck off. This is a great music, what are you talking about? God damn it. <clears throat> to the overworld, home of dated PlayStation graphics. If you look at the ocean and face left, you'll spot a cave behind a small forest area. Go there to fight Ifrit, the fire boss. If you beat him... He's keep, he keeps doing the GF. fucking walk again. We learned, the only way to cast non-GF magic spells is to draw the spells from your enemies while in battle. Personally, I like this system a lot. It gives weaker characters something productive to do while you wait for the impending doom of your character's GF. Sometimes only one GF will be effective. I heard that people really didn't like the gameplay of Final Fantasy VIII, though, so this is weird that this guy says it's actually good. No, I don't know. On a larger enemy. In Final Fantasy VIII, to be honest, we'll see when I will stream it. Once you draw a magic spell, you can either store it or cast it. Therefore, enemies with cure spells can actually help you heal yourself. The junction system is confusing at first. <laughs> Chick. So I can't build Final Fantasy IX because I have no GF. It's Final Fantasy VIII, Shrek, you douchebag. <laughs> Guys, look at the kind of HPs. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry about that. Wait, I need to change it. Wait. I forgot to do something. I forgot to change the category, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Look at the HPs, he, he, he's cheating again! God damn it, why does he have helmet in hell? But you should get the hang of it in about 30 minutes. The menu system could be much more organized, especially the sub-menus which are opened by pressing X while on another screen. If you don't read the mandatory in-game tutorials, you'll never know they exist. For every con, there is a pro, however. 99 million uh, million XP! Yes, are equipped. One pro is that item and magic inventory lists are now composed of pages. No more endlessly scrolling item lists. For extended critical analysis of this game, visit flightsoffantasy.com, where we discuss the pros and cons of the junction system, the pacing problems of the battle system left over from Final Fantasy VII, and some minor story quirks. Final Fantasy VIII is a must-buy. It's not perfect, and as of yet, the story is more plot-driven than character-driven, but this game is perhaps the most engaging RPG of all time. The most engaging RPG of all time. Um, 
I'm not a big RPG player that much because, you know, I missed a lot of RPGs on PlayStation, but wasn't there a lot of great F uh, RPGs and not only in Super Nintendo, but also on PlayStation? Like, I heard that Suikoden 2 was actually one of the best, for example, and... Uh, I don't know, this is weird. I, I don't know. I mean, it's not a life you love junctioning and doesn't have an engaging. <laughs> Hello, Johnny. Welcome to the office. How are you doing? Yeah, we're watching Gitsy, which uh, Gaming the Continuous, which is a, a very weird gaming show, but with, uh, with weird reviews. You will see. You will see. Dingo, this bit has an interesting take. Just you wait. Just you wait, Johnny. But we already saw that scene! We already saw that scene in the beginning! Man, you don't know how to edit things, though. You will get massive dislikes on YouTube for this. How do we use vid uh, videos like that? And yeah, um, Johnny, one day I will play Final Fantasy VIII anyway, so I will see what will happen with this. Oh god, good luck, yes I know. But I will play Final Fantasy, I will finish Final Fantasy 6 and, and start 7 though. Okay. Look for continued coverage of this game soon. Oh, by the way, if Square doesn't add voiceovers to Final Fantasy 9, I'm committing suicide. <laughs> I when <laughs> that's harsh for him because <laughs> that's harsh for him because nine ends up having text <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh yeah this is the most viewed part okay i guess so this game soon oh by the way if square doesn't add voiceovers to final fantasy 9 i'm committing suicide i hate text <laughs> That was not what I expected. What the hell happened here? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, did you you didn't know about gaming of the Clinton years, uh, Johnny? Eight <laughs> sex guess I'll die. <laughs> yeah. You you didn't know about about uh, gaming of the Clinton years? <laughs> Oh my god, wait. Uh, let me see what we can do. Oh yeah, this one! Oh my god, yes! The one that we were wrestling. <laughs> I need to show this to you guys. Wait. No, never. This is the first one I've seen. Have you seen this one where he says like, um... About for Tomb Raider 3, create, create a, a story where, where Lara Croft gets, get breast cancer. This is exactly what he says. Wait, let me show you again. I will show you the, 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 the next, uh, the, the one I want to show you after this. <laughs> let me show you this for, uh, for Johnny because it's amazing. The 
Oh man, this is opening every time. It's making me so fun. It's no big it's surprise lot. that IDOS is moving up the video game food chain considering last year's mega hit Tomb Raider. The sequel uses the same formula to great success with minor control changes for sidestepping and of course all new worlds and vehicles. The game starts off with a peek at ancient China. A dragon <sighs> attacks the Great Wall and a soldier notices a dagger embedded in his chest. Oddly, removing the dagger results in the dragon's death. Weird. You play Laura Croft, complete with front-loaded anvils, searching for the dagger centuries later. Your path to the dagger will take you just about everywhere, and that snow speeder kicks a major you-know-what. Tomb Raider has slightly more action than exploration this time around, but you may not notice the difference. This is good, because that way everybody's happy. Obviously, we're giving Tomb Raider 2 a good review. We fully expected to do so. We knew the game would be great, and it is. And we've only just scratched the surface. In answer to Lara's giant earrings, however, we have a challenge to IDOS. In Tomb Raider 3, create a storyline in which Lara gets breast cancer. <laughs> Imagine the drama <laughs> so of so a vulnerable <laughs> Lara Croft still persisting in her worldly adventures despite her illness. It needs fleshing out, <laughs> no pun intended. What is it keep, make, keep making world me shocked, laugh? Stunned and moved at the effort to make Laura's character more meaningful. We <laughs> love Laura, but it's about time the industry had a big shock for a change. It's no shock that Tomb Raider 2 I'm is excellent. <laughs> Everyone should buy it. Period. The end. Yeah, George Wood is a weird guy, as you might hear it, because of this. Oh my god, well, okay, we'll see another video which is really weird. Like, really weird. I don't understand this video, this review, but you'll see. How about fighting games? Of course, we have to begin with Acclaim's long-awaited WWF attitude. While we have yet to review the N64 version, the PlayStation version did not live up to expectations. The graphics are very disappointing, especially during entrances, but the character animations are well done. Some modes do not even have entrances. I wish more than four players could be in the ring at once. Special moves are not listed in the main. I mean, uh, we only have four, uh, so it would be fine, right? Controls are okay, but the 400 plus moves are not easy to remember and have no logical connection to any particular buttons. For example, the ass kisser move uses ups instead of downs. The Still, ass kisser. <laughs> it can't be the game that offers this many options. We had a lot of fun creating three fat black ladies fighting one skinny white turd. You don't get to do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! And that's it! This is gonna be the video! <laughs> that's it! This is the review! We just watch this! <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> Why are we watching this? Why is he doing this? <laughs> what are they kissing? <laughs> I I feel dirty watching this with you guys. I'm so sorry about it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. It's not. There's not even comments. <laughs> there's no even comments. What happened? <laughs> I wouldn't know what this guy is on. I don't know. I don't know this point. <laughs> I now imagine something. Guys. We had a lot of fun creating three fat black ladies fighting one skinny white turd. You don't get to do that every day. Okay, now I'm wondering one thing. I may have too much power, giving too much power to my chat with this, but... Do you think I should make a redeem where it's just this video <laughs> in front of a stream <laughs> instead of a game? <laughs> and we watch the whole video, the whole part with, uh, with, with uh, this uh, part alone. Uh, I think of that. <laughs> but you're not a mod, Johnny. I don't think you can do this.
<laughs> I don't need to see this again. <laughs> I don't know what what happened here. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Uh, what? Which one we could do? Golden Eye. Let's do the uh, Golden Eye one. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess it's vetoed. Okay. Okay. I got it. Oh, sorry. It's loud. is basically a first-person shooter game, the genre popularized by Doom. Nintendo has emphasized that GoldenEye is not just another Doom clone. This may be true, but GoldenEye hardly redefines the genre. The graphics are excellent, except for the blocky human figures. The surface textures are beautiful, and you can see far into the distance. You can see even further with a sniper rifle, which lets you zoom in on the horizon to aim at unsuspecting guards. That's my goal of a sniper rifle! But okay. The zoom feature on this gun can be awkward though, especially when you're aiming at an alarm button which you want to destroy. There's an easy solution to this problem. Don't use the sniper rifle for aiming at objects. <laughs> I imagine every fast play uh, FPS players. <laughs> Imagine every FPS player using a sniper rifle to use to uh, to destroy an object. Ah oh, damn! I can't do it. I can't destroy this with a sniper rifle. Oh, this guy told me I shouldn't use a sniper rifle. I should use my gun then. Okay. GoldenEye 007 has 20 stages in all, 18 on the low difficulty level, and one extra stage for each of the higher two difficulty levels. Regardless of the difficulty, the game is automatically saved after you beat any stage. Mm -hmm. Without this feature, beating the game would be impossible. In fact, beating the game is impossible on the higher difficulty levels. Do yourself a favor. Don't even try them. You just suck. That's it. <laughs> you still get an ending with low difficulty, and as far as we know, the ending does not change along with the difficulty. The ending is pretty stupid. It reflects the lack of emphasis on cinematic sequences in the game. There are very few cinematic sequences, and even those scenes constitute only the camera swooping around the landscape of a new level. In the ending, Bond escapes in a helicopter, and then we see him kissing Natalia in the jungle. She goes, ooh, James, and the credits roll. What? He do. Although there's not much plot development in the cinema scenes, the actual gameplay, what you do in the game, keeps the story going on its own. Moving over to play control, you can adjust the commands assigned to each button on your controller without any trouble. You will surely want to change from the default control to make the game handle more like Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. The control is not debatable, but okay. No matter what the setting. If you're looking down while walking over a gun, you won't pick it up. If you're looking ahead while walking over it, you will. Now that's stupid. Moving the crosshairs is also difficult. You can switch weapons safely by pressing start. Bond will look down at his watch, bringing up a menu system with everything you need to worry about. If you beat the game on the hardest mode, you will open up hidden levels for the four-player minigames, which we can't show you because we only have one controller. <laughs> You're supposed to review everything. You're gonna say, we can't show you because we have one controller. Sorry, we're kind of cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Is there guys Jepsic, uh, Jep, Jacksepticeye levels of game now? I don't know Jacksepticeye level of gaming to be honest, but this guy is, uh, you know, he's not good and he's cheating a lot. We have seen a lot of proofs why he's cheating, so yeah. Frankly, we don't care about the multiplayer stuff. No one buys a you, you don't care about the multiplayer stuff, but... but but that game was played a lot for multiplayer. The game specifically for multiplayer options. GoldenEye is an excellent game even with its flaws. 
Experienced players will beat it quickly though, so some of you might be better off renting it. Our last note regarding this game is about the bungee jumping scene. Look at this. It looks like he's jumping without a rope. To make matters worse, the camera is all screwed up. He jumps. He jumps again from a different angle. What the heck? Is that <laughs> a new funky directing style or what? Okay, enough of Bond. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, let me get ba back to the pot. What? What? <laughs> ...is about the bungee jumping scene. Look at this. It looks like he's jumping without a rope. To make matters worse, the camera is all screwed up. He jumps. He jumps again from a different angle. What the heck? Is this some new funky directing style or what? Okay, enough of Bond. What the? What was what went for? What? What the hell? <laughs> he hates me, OG movie, okay? I, I don't know what? <laughs> And even if it wasn't the movie, why did it? What? <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, I don't understand it that much. Wait, I don't get it. What? I I don't get it at all. I'm 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 confused. I'm terribly confused by that. Wait. Okay, um, let me see one of the review we could get. Oh, it's lagging. Wait. Yeah, but yeah, I don't understand. What is happening with this? Like illusion of Gaia. Wait, uh, let me see if I can find some uh, that is uh, very funny. Oh, Formula One racing has uh, one weird moment. Oh, why is it? Hey. Oh, okay. Uh, I think my my YouTube has glitched or something. Wait. Formula One racing. Is it this one? This one? I'm not sure about it. Why is it the mixing? Why is the sound mixing so bad? Uh, I mean, this offers much the same experience with Formula One racing. In fact, the games are so similar that once again we question why this genre is so popular. We have yet to see any tracks that blow us out of our chairs. No huge loops, no gigantic ramp launches, no driving through waterfalls, nothing imaginative. These games are supposed to be fun first and simulation second. Where's the creativity? Why not have Where's the creativity? But the guy doesn't isn't driving well in this game. What the hell, dude? I can see you driving completely ape shit. Have to see any tracks that blow. You driving like me when I'm playing a, a, a racing game? Was a, I was ten. Us out of our chairs. No huge loops. <gasps> no gigantic ramp launches. No driving through waterfalls. Nothing imaginative. These games are supposed to be fun first and simulation second. Where's the creativity? I think it was Castlevania review with realism. Yes, they said something like so much for realism or some shit like that. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, you're gonna love the, the, the reviews on the top bottom left, uh, right. Control C, gameplay C, challenge B. Why not have a game where you have to find and drive to the hospital? I think this guy got this game mixed up with Agile Thunder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god, the drive. Oh my god, the drive. Would be fun. Rather than compete against other racers, you'd have to avoid getting arrested by keeping below the speed limit, obeying the right of way laws. Wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 what? And drive to the hospital in first and simulation second. Where's the creativity? Why not have a game where you have to find and drive to the hospital before your wife delivers her baby? Now What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where did you get your ideas, George Wood? 
Why not have a game where you have to find and drive to the hospital before your wife delivers her baby? Now that would be fun. Rather than compete against other racers, you'd have to avoid getting arrested by keeping below the speed limit obeying the right-of-way laws and not tailgating. Any foul-up and the cops will pull you over. The best part is that you don't know how to get to your location. You have to read the road signs and hope you explore in the right direction. Anyway, Formula One has nice colorful graphics and a large number of tracks, 17 to be exact, but it's still a jar, folks, a jar all the way. What the fuck was that? So, wait, let me read the, the, the code in, uh, exactly. Why not have a game? Well, you have to find and drive to the hospital before your wife delivers a baby. Now that would be fun. Rather than compete against other races, you'd have to avoid getting arrested by keeping low, below the speed limit, obeying right-of-way laws, and not, and not tailgating. Any foul up and the cops will pull you over. Uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> not... What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know, this is weird. This is very weird. But yeah, that sounds like a very bad game though, yeah. Oof. But yeah, you can also see the other going, going like, uh, yeah, uh, they, they show you the ending, of course. I, I mean, why not? Okay, let me see which ones I could watch again. Yeah, they show you Blascope's ending. Okay, Resident Evil 2, let's watch this one. Yeah, I think I'm having troubles now with my kid, with my, uh, with the loading. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's see about Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 is definitely the devil of a game. It opens with exquisite full motion video, violent full motion video. Make that very violent full motion video complete with shots to the head and seizure induced corpses. Resident Evil 2 has Seizure the induced corpses? The what? In that respect, the game's a disappointment, but no one, including us, will be able to resist this game. The gore is not the big draw here, at least not for us. It's the suspense, the eerie music, the awesome full motion video. We really get annoyed with having to shoot a zombie 10 times before it's actually dead. This kind of ridiculous crap really slows down the game. Aren't you supposed to escape instead of shooting all the zombies, bro? What? And we're forced to suffer this unrealistic gimmick every time we find a zombie. And that happens a lot. In fact, you usually find zombies hanging together in huge crowds, making the job even more difficult. People like to say how scary Resident Evil 2 is. We haven't felt- Oh wait, yet. I see why he could, he, he can, he could you know, uh, kill them all. Cheats with unlimited ammo. But we haven't played the game alone in the dark. That's probably the best way to play. Resident Evil 2. Wait, what? The best way to play the game alone. Felt a shiver yet. But we haven't played the game alone in the dark. That's probably the best way to play. Oh, okay. Resident Evil 2, on the whole, is an excellent game that no one should be without. It's no Tomb Raider, but we shouldn't expect it to be either. Resident Evil 2 does a great job at capturing the horror mood like no other game ever made. The controls still have that watch where you're going, I overshot the doorway feel, but by now, everyone's used to this style of control, so we're giving it a generous C. Everything else gets an A. Resident Evil 2 comes highly recommended. Wait, why did you get, give a C for control for Resident Evil 2? What? What? Uh, okay. Sound? Oh, <laughs> that was a weird ending, but okay.
I don't get it. Sometimes it's uh, yeah, it's, you you should know about these reviews at this point. They're very completely weird. Uh, let's go with oh, my got sixty four. Let's go with this one. Oh no! Oh my god. Okay, I have a problem with my with my YouTube. What the hell is going on now? I can't seem to. Wait, let me try to do something about it. Why am I having such so much trouble with uh, the playlist now with YouTube? Is YouTube broken again? Yeah, okay, I've got 64, let's go. Summons. <laughs> oh my god. Based on the classic multi million selling Super NES game Super Mario Kart, the first Nintendo 64 game released by Nintendo in 1997 is Mario Kart 64. It combines the thrill of a racing game with signature Miyamoto gameplay. In this case, mystery items scattered in various parts of the track, which either help or hinder each racer. The game gives players a true feeling of racing a go-kart, as the kart skids sideways into turns and maneuvers quickly around obstacles. Mario Kart 64 features a depth in graphics only available with Nintendo 64. Since racing games by their very nature move at blistering speeds, the other video game systems can't produce the graphics fast enough, causing environments to literally pop onto the screen in a most unrealistic fashion. The speed at which Nintendo 64 produces the graphics is an the most unrealistic way? You're playing a game where people are uh, driving carts and shooting turtle shells! ...the graphics fast enough, causing environments to literally pop onto the screen in a most unrealistic fashion. The speed at which Nintendo 64 produces the graphics is an unbelievable 93.75 Tell the mention shut up, okay. ...compared to that of 33.9 megahertz for its closest competitor. This is a game the whole family can play. Since Mario Kart 64 uses the four controller ports on the front of the system, it features split-screen play for up to four players. The game also features more than 16 courses, a battle arena mode, and includes eight characters from the world of Mario. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Wario... That's not George Wood's voice, is it? That doesn't sound like George Wood's voice. Bowser. Battling each other in the wacky. Wait, didn't they have another second controller for Goldeneye? Yeah, I thought they were. They got one controller. What the hell? Best racing game ever made. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem now. It's <laughs> fun to play, except when you're losing. But the challenge lasts for about a week. Only racing fanatics should pick it up. What? Are they showing just the ending like that? Wait, why are you showing the ending ceremony? What? Wait, wait, what the fuck? Wait, I don't get it. Why are you showing the ending ceremony now? You. Wait, is that it? Yeah, they're just showing the first the ending ceremony, and that's it. What? Okay, that is very strange, but okay. How is that baseball ninety nine? Okay, let's try this one maybe. Okay, let's go with this. So these are del deliberately bad, right? Johnny, these videos were shown on TV. And was it during the 90s? So, no. They're, these weren't del deliberately bad. <laughs> they got... Sh they Wait, actual broadcast? Yeah. They actually got broadcast as Flights of Fantasy and they showed these reviews. <laughs> Time Sports has put their two cents worth into the Virtual Baseball League. All-Star Baseball 99 is loaded with features. Soon, all sports video games will have the real faces of the players. This game did not forget that feature. There is one thing that really bugs us, if we may digress for a moment. 
Why does every game, with the exception of Ken Griffey Baseball for the N64, list the Baltimore Orioles Stadium as Baltimore Stadium? They have uh, the what? Game, so what's the deal? Are what? the Orioles so pig-headed about the use of Oriole Park at Camden Yards that they only let Nintendo... D -d Dude, stadium? what? In our opinion, that really stinks. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> the game is full of real... Wait, what happened? <laughs> Where did he go like that? Wait, was he ranting about... About the n big nitpick like Why that? Every game, with the exception of Ken Griffey Baseball for the N64, lists the Baltimore what? Orioles Stadium as Baltimore Stadium. They have the correct name, so what's the deal? Are the Orioles so pig-headed about the use of Oriole Park at Camden Yards that they only let Nintendo use the name? In our opinion, that really stinks. Anyway, Calm down, that's just the name of a stadium. Why do you say it stinks? It's okay, dude. God damn it! You're weird sometimes! Really cool features. The right cut of the grass? That's really neat. John Sterling and Michael Kay of the New York Yankees provide the play-by-play -play and color commentary. EA Sports seems to be the only company that has instant replay. We, for one, like that feature. But no one else does. Oh well, you win some and you lose some. The create a player mode is awesome. The players change size, stance, skin color, national... Are you going to create a skinny white little turd in this? Really their underwear. This feature might as well have it though. It has everything else. The stadium lights look really awesome for night games. We wonder if they will shatter when a home run ball hits them. Write us here at Flights of... Wait, what? Shatter when a home... We wonder if they will shatter when a home run ball hits them. The stadium lights look really awesome for night games. We wonder if they will shatter when a home run ball hits them. Uh, okay, if you say so. We get video footage of this most awesome feat, kind of like something out of the natural. Who knows? Maybe we can dig through our junk closet and find a neat prize for the first the person to get us the shattering proof. For those of you who don't know, the Orioles have the sun on the top of the scoreboard. No, we get it! Okay, stop! The game has an imitation, El Sol. We give up. Why the change? Another title, Griffey Baseball, has the sun. The feature we thought was really neat was the warm-up feature that a new pitcher gets once he is on the mound. So grab the cleats and take your position in the easy chair in front of the TV and play ball, All-Star 99 style. The throw. Okay, uh, this is sometimes he put attention to stuff I don't that I don't understand at all. Uh, okay, uh. Wait, I remember that he actually talks about uh, doing a comparison. Yeah, this one, yes. <laughs> Guys, beware of the debate of, uh, <laughs> of all time. What's the best game? Super Mario 64 or Resident Evil? The way he laser focuses on random topics only only tangentially related to the game is pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. I mean, I don't understand what happened here. <laughs> I don't get it. It seems as though the battle between the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation will be directly related to players' choices between Super Mario 64 and Resident Evil. These games are the beachhead of their respective systems. But which is better? Well, let's go through this point by point. Mario has camera motion during gameplay, but Evil only has it during the hands-off cinema scenes. Evil has real voices for its characters, but Mario and his friends are mute. Mario doesn't require you to solve impossible Bullshit! Bullshit! That's bullshit! You can hear Mario talk every time we hear, we were, here we go! Yahoo! What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Mario doesn't require you to solve impossible puzzles to win the game, but Evil has you solve tons of them. Actually, you won't solve tons of them. The game is virtually impossible without the hint book. So what's the bottom line? Super Mario 64 wins by a close call. It's Wait, what? <laughs> it's more visual and immersive than Resident Evil. However, to our knowledge, no Nintendo 64 game has voices and dialogue yet. That's a big mistake, and we hope that changes. It's not just the graphics that players want. The Nintendo 64 is still very young, though. The Super NES didn't start off with Donkey Kong Country quality, so don't expect tomorrow from the N64. Stop having fascination on Donkey Kong Country, dude! <laughs> God damn it! Today, we still have to wait for the 64DD, as it's called. This disk drive add-on will be used in the N64 games of the future. All this talk makes us wonder, what's going on with Sega? 
Well, listen to the soundbite from Sega President Tom Kalinske. Our technology comes from the arcade world. You can't take arcade games, advanced computer graphics in the arcade world, and run them on the most advanced PC today. But you can run them on Saturn. Saturn is more advanced than either PlayStation or Nintendo 64. It has three 32-bit processors in it. Well, look, Sega. If all this is true, then why aren't you on top? You make a game like Mario 64, and then we'll talk. <laughs> Until then, we rest our case. <laughs> Did he just puck at the Sega of the meantime? Did he just kill? Did he just kill Sega in the meantime like that when he was talking about Super Mario 64 versus Red and Evil? After saying that Super Mario 64 won on a close call because it was far more immersive than Resident Evil, what? <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? Here? I don't know what to think. That was him kicking Nin N64 in the nuts when grabbing Bowley to smash into Sega was a random bystander. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell happened in this? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm terribly confused now. Okay, let me see. What rats? Wait, is it the movie? If it's the movie, then I'm not showing it because, uh, you know. Let me check that. The Rugrats movie is a 2D side scroll. Okay, now that's uh, only the Game Boy one. I, f I feel like the show segments were too short for him to rant, so he contrasts a way to rant about the things he wants to while meeting the bare minimum standard required. It feels like, you know, he's talking about shit on the, on, uh, on thing, and then after that, he will go crazy on all of the thing. That's so weird. I don't understand that. What the hell is wrong with you, George Wood? Oh, God. Ah, yes, thank you for the spoilers, Babu. <laughs> Thank you for the spoiler, uh, George Wood. Why are you showing this? Okay, let me see if I can find another... Oh my god, there's so many videos, as you might see. Oh yeah, it's gonna do... Yeah, because there was a review where it said that Final Fantasy VII wasn't perfect. So, maybe this is aimed at you, Johnny, at this point. And I think if it's George Wood doing this. George Wood. First up is Final Fantasy VII. We've gotten a lot of flack about our review for this game, so for the first time ever, we're going to respond to our enraged viewers. For Just so you know, we didn't change a single word in that review. People disagree with our review in three areas. One, our claim that there's nothing new in terms of game design. First of all, since we're talking about game design, that excludes the game's movie scenes, which are inherently and rightfully unplayable. Now, Regarding the gameplay, Final Fantasy VII is no different from the series' last game in terms of execution. But, well, okay, I didn't play the game, but what about the materials then? I'm confused. No one has refuted that. Instead, people have defended the status quo saying that's what you do in RPGs. If that's the case, if we shouldn't demand increasingly more involved gameplay, then we also shouldn't demand any new video game systems. Let's never ask for anything more than Pac-Man because hey, that's all you do in video games. Eat dots. So we were ripped apart for our comments on the game's unexciting plot. To further support that claim, let us say this. Number one, the movie scenes that advance the plot are separated with much too long periods of play. Two, the dialogue scenes are slow and boring. Wait, wait, excuse me, can you repeat that? With much too long... The movie scenes that advance the plot are separated with much too long periods of play. But... Wait... <laughs> Two... 
the dialogue scenes are slow and boring. And three, the plot has advanced more through a character's dialogue than his or her actions. Any screenplay writer will tell you that's bad. Yeah, that's a GRPG. A lot of people talk. <laughs> I'm surprised you noticed this. Especially for a visual medium. Lastly, RPG fans defended the mathematical take your turn to fight battle style in the game. Rather than a free for all slugfest. Okay, we'll cave in on this one. Although this method slows down the game, we can learn to live with it and even like it to some extent. Still, Final Fantasy VII is far from the near masterpiece that game critics and fans have been calling it. <laughs> Sorry, I was expecting this one. <laughs> and I really wanted to boom find this. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was savage, damn. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't understand sometimes what he's saying. This man wants a movie SMH. Yeah, I don't understand sometimes what he's saying. This is so weird. We got search for Webtar? Okay, let's check this one. 2.34. Maybe after that I will end the stream. I don't know if I can find other videos of him. Ba -ba why then is Rugrats one of our favorites this week? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, so the control is shitty, the difficulty is... I don't know what it means, but the game is, the game is great anyway? What? <laughs> what the hell what happened here? <laughs> I'm confused. Week, the proud recipient of two E's. To be sure, it's got to be one of the weirdest events ever in the history of our ratings. Overall, Rugrats is an A game, but the sloppy control gets an E, as does the difficulty level, if there is one. We feel bad giving the E's, but they are deserved. The control- Wait, so you're saying the control is shitty, but yet the game is great? What? <laughs> <laughs> can be very uncooperative thanks to the poor analog control, which will give you an idea of what it's like to be walking a baby. What the Is fuck? <laughs> Maybe so. Is it annoying on occasion? Absolutely. Does it preclude you from enjoying the game? Absolutely not. Will you get sick of running into walls just because these kids can't walk right? Maybe. Maybe not. You might get a kick out of it. Again. Okay. Is okay. Right now he's doing it. In play it. On purpose at this point. Why do you rush on this guy? It is one of the most imaginative games we have ever played. It is also one of the best license based games we have ever played. THQ did an outstanding. What about Toy Story then? You, you, you fucking suck Toy Story's balls for a long time and you say now that Rugrats is the best license game now? Job utilizing the voice actors from the Emmy winning TV show to set up each game scenario with an in-game cinematic sequence. Give me all your cookies. No, Angelica, my mommy made them for us to eat. He <laughs> clearly <laughs> doesn't have Any silicon go. graphics, is exactly. Our appreciation of this incredibly unique title is so high that we want to show you the entire game. But unfortunately, we just don't have the time. Maybe we'll set us Look at this poor graphics. It doesn't have a silicon graphics. Five some time in January or February to cover the game in greater detail. To give you an idea of the outstanding level setups and strong characterization, sit back for a few minutes and enjoy some hilarious clips from the Rugrats PlayStation game. We'll be back with Gex. You look a little sick, Angelica. Ah! You. Let's go clean you up. I haven't golfed in ages. I'm Wait, there's no comments anymore now? Ice Wait, what? <laughs> this is gonna be great. I, I, 
Are, are you showing just cut scenes? Not what? Okay, why is it the most viewed moment here? I don't know at this point. My god, the rendering is more blocky than Final Fantasy VII. But see, Final Fantasy VII isn't the game, the masterpiece they're saying, okay? <laughs> god damn it. I can't believe I actually said something like that. I remember at the time Final Fantasy VII was considered the masterpiece and all, so this is weird that someone is actually saying otherwise. Oh my god, we're not showing the, we're showing the ending of a lot of games now. Like the enemy scaling, it was, and, and I mean, I never said it was, it's got a lot of flaws, like the enemy scaling was wag. Yeah, the problem is that, what the fuck was his arguments in this? <gasps> Especially when it says, it says like something like, uh, yeah, you suck and all, and the games, and I don't know, the arguments in this is, I'm not, I'm not convinced with uh, that, you know? No, no, maybe we just really like uh, work that. oh my god. Johnny, I will give you in the DMs um, the, the uh, review of um, Toy Story, the game. You will see, like, what the hell happened here? Because we saw the video, it was like, what the hell? Oh, the bug slide, we need to see this too. Wait. You will, you will see what happened with... Uh, you don't want to understand what happened in this. It's not a lot, but it's our life. <laughs> Sony deserves a pat on the back for releasing this game in time for the movie's theatrical release. Debuting at number one in the box office, A Bug's Life puts Bay the Pig in the City to shame with its truly fun story, strong characterization, and outstanding humor. A Bug's Life is only available on the Sony PlayStation. Which is debatable because of Bugside is one of the most annoying movies I've ever seen from Pixar. Not to say that it's bad, but seriously, I hate the, you know, the liar plot and all. Graphics are colorful, but not very detailed. Simple, yet somewhat appealing. That description holds true for the rest of the game as well. The gameplay is very simple. You might beat the game in one sitting. Seemingly desperate to add complexity to the game, the developers included a seed interaction system. Wait, why did you put diff E in difficulty? What? What is it? I don't understand actually what this means. Does it mean it's not difficult or it's too di over difficult? Uh, it's not challenging and not difficult or is it just because it's too difficult? I don't understand the difficulty one. Basically, different seeds produce different plants and you can power them with various tokens. Yes, tokens. Have we seen this before? Talk about a typical gameplay element. You have to grow a mushroom just to jump to higher places. Hello? Ants can crawl anywhere. They don't need mushroom trampolines. Besides, when was the last time you saw an ant as big as a mushroom? It's a game, dude. It's a game. <laughs> I, think we, I think there's... Bigger and uh, uh, bigger things to say about the game. <laughs> Granted, realism is not required in a video game. Isn't it what you said an F one control uh, control race or something? Formula One racing. Sorry about that. And the frustrating control has you fumbling around, uprooting and moving various plants. You just have to ask yourself why. Oh my god, is he really is really bad though? What the hell is this? It was thrown in to cover up the game's simplicity. With a little more effort, this could have been a great game. The big shocker is that Disney Interactive was involved in the production. How could the makers of Jungle Book and Mickey Mania let this one slip through their fingers? Flaws are everywhere. The camera has a mind of its own. The control is overreactive. And most glaring of all. 
Wait, the controls are overreactive? What? That's good then. The cinemas do not coincide with gameplay. For example, if you cross the river and enter a cave, then the game will show you a clip from the movie where you fly across the same river and hit a rock. Let's say it again. Hello? We already crossed the river. Who's been messing with the space-time continuum? Hello? <laughs> oh, make Hello? Hello? Why? Is anybody home? Good grief. With all these flaws and only about 15 short and simple levels, A Bug's Life is a no for pro gamers, but a yes for younger fans who will enjoy it despite our grievances. Parents and kids will be powerless against the draw of this hot license. Lastly, before we close the book on this game, let's compare the quality of the game cinemas to the real thing. Here's one of the game's film clips. Crisp and clean with no particle movement. A flawless transfer. These clips are nice treats, even if their connection is disjointed. Now here's the film itself. You're looking at millions of dollars, folks. Money in the bank for Disney. I, I don't get what you... What's your point here? What? Yeah, this is the same cutscene. Yes, it's a game a licensed game. What? I'm I'm confused now. I'm terribly confused. Siphon, siphon, siphon filter. Let's try this one. I guess. Thomas, this is gonna be the last one. I'm sorry, when you when I'm watching these, I'm like Our intelligence within so confused. Not clear, but rumors men are already inside the subway. Is it the same virus? Yes, enough to eliminate everyone within a hundred miles or more. Procedure? Standard intercept and eliminate. These are from our contact inside Interpol. Jenkins' team is already on search and defuse. You are the trigger. I recognize Anton Gerdu and Mara Aramov. Who's the other one? Pavel Kredich, Roma's communications expert. When you eliminate him, you'll also have to destroy his calm uplink. You'll be dropped into the strike zone when the firefight begins. You'll have an hour to find your targets and take them out. Welcome back. One of the best games of 1999 is Siphon Filter from 989 Studios. This GoldenEye killer packs more action and suspense than any other game in This GoldenEye killer? What? That's not the same kind of game, dude! This GoldenEye killer packs more action and suspense than any other game in recent memory. Despite the loose controls, they are well organized as far as button assignments. Wait, is this perfect talk? No, that's no that's Siphon Filter. So it's time for the Jaws. The Jaws. Also, I suggest you watch <laughs> some SCP videos. Be very interesting. And logs and also, hope you're doing fine. Um, today we're watching a video about a video is about uh old uh, show. Wait, they're actually showing game reviews that are terrible. <laughs> they are terrible. But uh, I think it's the last one. I'm sorry about that, Xenos. But I know I should watch some SCP videos one day, but... Um, I need to think about this. I just came in. Yeah, I saw that, Xenos. I saw that. Result, you can quickly jump into this game without worrying about command memorization. Wait, that's it? That's the end of a review? Wait, how much was the review? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> 56 to... But we you went for 21 seconds! <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Wait, wait, let me show you the review again of the game. Wait. Welcome back. One of the best games of 1999 is Siphon Filter from 989 Studios. This GoldenEye killer packs more action and suspense than any other game in recent memory. Despite the loose controls, they are well organized as far as button assignments. As a result, you can quickly jump into this game without worrying about command memorization. That's it! There's nothing more than that. What the fuck? 
What happened here? <laughs> what happened? I don't get it. I'm st I'm I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I don't understand anything now. Uh, let's see one. Uh, David good enough. <laughs> yes, I say it's good enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> That's it. Uh, okay, maybe we can get another short, uh, short, uh, a short review again. Wait, contender. Oh yeah, forty-four seconds. Incredible, amazing. I mean, of course, when you have to review games, it has to be like forty-four seconds. Damn, amazing. Contender is the first boxing game of the year. The 2D controls in a 3D world don't work as well here as they do in Capcom's library. Also, the controls for applied punches, that's what the book calls them, are not intuitive. You can't even walk and punch at the same time. This game gets a nice fat KO. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> What happened? Why did it show Tifa at the end? <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You know what? I think this is good. I think the video got a stroke. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think it is going to be a good way to end the stream. <laughs> I think this is a good way to end the stream, guys. Uh, let's see who are we going to wait today. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, Wolfie is streaming at the moment, so, uh, she's playing Grounded, so maybe we could do that. And, uh, yeah, John, Johnny, wait, I need to, sh to give you in DMs the, the Toy Story one. Uh, gaming in the Clinton years. Yes, this is exactly how it is called. Oh, by the way, if you want to see more about it, you need to watch uh, Kelly Caris video about it. He made a very long video about it, and it's very hilarious. But goddamn! <laughs> seeing, seeing the real source material in front of you? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, let me give you the Toy Story 1 in the M's. Oh, you know what? I will give it in the server, okay, yeah, Johnny? I, I think you're in the server, right? Yeah, I think you're in the server, so yeah, I can I can give it to you here. I will put it in memes or media. <laughs> media, let's say. And we're gonna raid uh Wolfie. So that way. Yeah, just ping. Oh yeah, let me let me let me, let me give you a ping. I need a con. Oh, right. All right, everyone. So, um, I will now leave you guys. Uh, so, uh, have a wait. Yes, Xenos. Yes, what is it? <clears throat> uh, I will give you the. I will give a uh, wait commands now before we leave. How are you today? Um, still a little sick, but I'm. I'm good. We ended up finishing uh, Ibn Space Hard Law uh, today. It just took one, it's not even one hour, so I was like, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And yeah. Um, maybe I should also, uh, I should also tell you that um, to d tomorrow, um, I will start the stream sooner than, than uh, what it's scheduled because um, 
at 5 p.m. I want to raid someone who is debuting. So uh, let's let's see each other tomorrow at 2 p.m. for Yakuza 3. Okay, now slash raid and Wolf Anubite. I think she's gonna play a long time because she's doing a you know a long game with uh, with uh, her fiance and all. So yeah. All oh, right. Don't thank you for coming to the stream, guys. Even if it was a short one, uh, for the gaming and also for the videos. Um, I forgot what to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I forgot. Yeah, um, I will focus on myself uh, with uh, the raid right now, so yeah, don't worry about it. I will take the, the free time to do some stuff involving my, yeah, my, my v -roid. In the meantime, have a good day, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, have a good night, have a good time zone. Take care of yourself, cover yourself, eat and hydrate, may the chaos be with ya. <laughs> and the me remind you that in this world, there's always someone coming, counting on you, and I'm counting on you again. <laughs> bye bye. Please take care of yourself, and I will rest too, so I can stop being sick. Bye bye.